Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsToReviews.com, and today we are going to do a quick unboxing and full review of Nokia 206 dual SIM phone. Now this phone is again the part of the Nokia Asha series budget phones from Nokia here in India. When it comes to the features and specifications, you, it can accept a micro SD memory card up to 32 GB maximum. You have a pretty good standby time on this device which is around 20 hours as you can see and you have GPS and edge connectivity support on this device so you won't be able to connect it this phone to a Wi-Fi network or to 3G 3G and Wi-Fi are not supported on this device it does have 3.5mm audio jack and you have a QVGA display on this device you have a 2.1 inch display you have Bluetooth Nokia Express browser which will actually compress the overall data which will actually compress the overall content from the web which you browse on this phone to reduce the data charges here you have the, the features mentioned you have intelligent imaging on this device that, you, that means you can take a self portrait shot very easily on this device now taking a look on the package on the back side you have the memory card support on this device micro SD memory card up to 32 GB will be supported you have a very good standby time on this device you will have GPRF and edge connectivity support on this device this will not support Wi-Fi or 3G you have 3.5 mm audio jack you have a QVGA display and Bluetooth 2.1 Nokia Express browser which will compress the data from the web to reduce the overall data charges for you and you have intelligent imaging on this device this is how the phone will look like you will have it in white black and blue color as you can see so these are the three colors available in the market now let's unbox it and take a look on the package so the first thing which we have is the Nokia Asha 206 this is how the device looks like and again the device looks fairly good in terms of the overall look and feel what we have in the package we have a standard Nokia 3 pin power port a thin pin charger as you can see and you have the standard earphones which come within the package it also has a mic module over here so that you can receive the calls when you are using these headphones with the phone again the quality of these headphones is kind of standard you have some booklets in the package you have the Nokia Asha 206 dual sim phone booklet user guide as you can see and you have the information about some application which comes pre-installed on the device you can watch free movies and trailers of different like around 107 titles across Hindi, Bengali, Telugu and Tamil on the application which comes pre-installed the UTV application and you also have Nokia Slam application pre-installed on the device you will have that feature supported and you can also watch YouTube videos on this 2.4 inch screen in multiple languages from the YouTube you have intelligent imaging with self-portrait voice instruction feature which will help you take self-portrait short which will help you take self-portrait short you have the Nokia Life user guide over here which tells you about the different applications which you can use on this phone and that's all which we have in the package now as far as the overall build quality of the Nokia Asha 206 is concerned this phone is a pretty good phone in terms of the overall build quality the quality of plastic which has been used to make the back cover and the front is pretty good you have a nice shiny kind of a plastic over here at the front on the back you have a matte finish kind of a back cover and we can also remove this back cover over here and let me just show you the phone from the back side so this is how the phone looks like from the back side as you can see you have the battery over here and the battery on this device is 1110 milliampere hour as you can see and you have the sim card slots over here the first sim card slot is over here as you can see and it will accept a normal size sim card the second sim card slot is over here which is hot swappable over here and you also have the micro SD memory card slot here is the micro SD memory card slot in which you can use maximum 32 GB micro SD memory card and here you have the loudspeaker you have a VG camera over here and this is a 1.3 megapixel camera and the maximum resolution at which you can take photos from this camera is 1280 into 960 pixels 
video recording you can also record video from the back camera with the resolution of QCIF at 10 frames per second it has a secondary camera on the device now this is how the phone look like and you have a 3 to 9 keyboard over here which will again help many of the people out there the keyboard keys are quite good they, get, they give you a tactile feedback whenever you press them you have a 4 way navigation key over here with which you can go across the screen wherever you want to you have a power cut button you have a call cut button and the call pick button these, but these two buttons are for the navigation and accessing the options which are shown over here on the screen and you have a 2.4 inch TFT display display is 240 into 320 pixels and it is spread across 2.4 inch it gives you a pixel density of around 167 pixels per inch now this is how the home screen look like and it does not support touch as you can see as the weight of this device is concerned it is around 91 gram in terms of weight so it is fairly light and equally portable when it comes to carrying it in one of your hand it is kind of a very slim phone uh, as far as the thickness of the phone is concerned the shape of the phone is pretty nice it is very nice to hold in one hand you can easily hold the device and it won't slip out of your hand because of the matte finish tack cover over here it comes to the thickness it is around 12.4 millimeter in terms of the thickness you also have the indications for the signal for the sim card slot sim card 1 and sim card 2 over here as you can see you have the date and time indicator on the home screen you can access different applications over here you can also change these shortcuts in case you want to you also have fm radio supported on this device and let me just go into the menu these are all the pre-installed applications which you will get when it comes to the contacts you can have maximum thousand contacts on this device now when it comes to the internal memory which you have on this phone is 64 mb you have 64 MB of internal memory and we will just show you how much of that is actually available. These are the pre-installed application which you get. You have the music application, Nokia Life application. You can access the Nokia store as well again with the help of the cellular connectivity. Uh, you also have a gift application with which you can actually claim 40 free EA games which you can install for free on this device. When it comes to the apps, you have all the apps like games, alarm clock, calculator, gallery, voice recorder, to-do list, notes, countdown timer, countdown timer, stopwatch, when it comes to my apps, you also have eBuddy application pre-installed for chatting and you also have Facebook and Twitter application pre-installed on this device. You also have this UTV, applic UTV application which will allow you to watch movie trailers for free. When it comes to free voice calling, Viber also comes pre-installed on this device. You also have world clock so that you can track time from different time zones. Now the free memory available to the user is around 10 MB on this device. And this is how the stats look like for the other applications and things. Now when it comes to updating software on this device, you will be able to update software on this device without connecting this device to a PC. You can update it on the air with the software update application which is directly on the device as you can see now, as you can see this is how the camera UI look like and it is again a fixed focus camera 1.3 megapixel and let me just take a photo and when it comes to the photo quality the photo is not very good in terms of the overall clarity but it is pretty good in terms of the overall colors As you can see the photo is not very clear so the camera quality is not that good. Now when it comes to the connectivity it will support the GPR speed up to 85 kbps whereas on edge it will support up to 236 kbps. And you also have bluetooth connectivity and the mobile data networks are already defined on this device. You have Bluetooth connectivity as you can see and the mobile data network for the network setting for the GPRS is already defined on the device. And you also have a data counter and a mobile data timer so that you can tells you about how much data you have used and for what, what amount of time you have used internet on this device. Also have a dual sim manager on this device as you can see. Here you can specify which sim card you would like to use for calling and which one you would like to use for data. 
when it comes to chatting option you have the default chat application viber and ebuddy pre-installed on this device and this is how the messaging application looks like and you also have a t9 dictionary support on this device and this is the 3 to 9 keyboard which you can use and the keyboard again has led backlight uh, behind the keys so again it will make suitable for you to type with this keyboard in dark environment this is how the browser looks like and on the home screen you have the shortcuts for the Facebook, Twitter, Crick Info website and Nokia website as you can see and again when it comes to browsing on this particular device you also have a zoom uh, you also have a zoom frame which will allow you to zoom to the particular content in case you have a very big page with lot of text you also have the Nokia store and when it comes to WhatsApp, WhatsApp is not supported on, on this device as of now it is not there on the store but it will come very soon. You also have calendar, contacts, messaging application. So from us as far as the quick hands on review of the Nokia Asha 206 dual sim phone is confirmed. Do let us know if you have any specific questions for this device we would love to help you. You can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video this is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.